right, guys and gals, I've, uh, or ladies and gents, I've got my assistant here with me today, and uh, you might hear her laughing if she thinks this is goofy, but here we go. So, as you can see, got the grand marquee loaded up on the trailer, going to scrap, and you're like, well, wait, that, you're killing it. No. I was trying to figure out how to get the body off the thing, and uh, Nathan's garage, you know, he, he cut his into pieces and got rid of it that way. Um, I was going to take it to a shop and try to stick the posts through it and lift it off by the ceiling. But then I came to the reality, like, wait a minute, I'm taking it to the scrapyard. They have a big crane hook thing that's going to pull it off by the roof anyway, so I'll just do that. So uh, anyway, so let me show you a couple things before we go. Um, this thing. So everything's undone. Harness is complete. All the, all the harness from the firewall back is out. I did cut the firewall out here, um, and that's only so I could use the template for where the um, where your brake, master cylinder, and booster go, as well as your uh, plugs for your um, from your car out to your engine. Uh, so that's gone. I did the same thing on the other side with uh, the heater box, the blower and things like that. Again, just, just as a template. Um, there's really not much to show you on the inside. Obviously, the dash is completely out. Uh, everything's pretty well gutted in here. Like I said, there is no wiring from the firewall back. Um, speaking of wiring, let me show you something. Watch your uh, sand clip or something. It doesn't look... <laughs> it doesn't look nearly as impressive or mind-boggling here, but here is all the harness. Now, when you have this thing laid out as it came out of the car, it's bonkers. Um, I mean, you have like a left side, a right side, and then a crossover, um, millions of connectors. But I've got them all labeled. Like I said, I'm gonna. My plan for what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the car pulled, the body pulled off the frame, get it back here, and I could stop and pause there while I try to find my good F100. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay this back out on the frame, get all the connectors going. I want to get the engine running. Um, I just something about it. I want to know that this thing with no body on it. Will still start and run and drive so that when I have to do it again with the body, I know I have a point to refer back to. Um, so that's my plan for that. Hopefully, get some good money for the car. You know, there's that moment of taking a car off the body that you got to hope, geez, did I get all the bolts? Did I get all the connections? Did I get all the lines? Anything? Is it all connect, disconnected? And it came off at not a single snag. So that was a beautiful thing. And the car, body, and whatever parts I had thrown in there, um, 980 pounds. And to my surprise... $34.50 is something of what I got for it. Uh, just the metal of um, cost for metal right now is really low. But I don't care. It's not on my car, not on my frame anymore. It's done out of my way.